you are going to hear an Arab Christian misleading a Christian audience. In the process, I will add a spot of commentary in the way of explanation so you can follow. Check this out. You can explain it far better than I. Will you take a few minutes and just give us your understanding of this because it's going to be so enlightening to so many people. It's Kai, Sai, and Stigma yes. in the original language. That's what they think it is. Ah. Yes. They when did. I first saw the Codex Vaticanus, I was literally shocked because I could read the text. It was Arabic. And as you, as I look at it, it Firstly, the symbol he is speaking about is not from the Codex Vaticanus. It's from a 15th century text called Codex 1957. Now look at the bottom line here. This is what Shabbat's Mark of the Beast, which he believes to be Arabic, should look like according to early Greek script. Nobody literate in Arabic will ever claim the bottom line to be Arabic. As Dan Wallace points out, Shabbat's entire thesis crumbles at this point because Shabbat's claim should have been based on the bottom line. Now that's what I call the bottom line. However, let us persist as the next clip to be played demonstrates Wali Shabbat's lack of honesty or his ability to stretch the truth you decide. The top line is a more modern Greek script which came in use from the 9th century onwards. Even this script is not Arabic at all, but our friend Wali Shabbat claims he can read it in Arabic. I can read Arabic. It does not look Arabic to me. Google the Arabic alphabet for yourself and check. Here is the coup de grace as our friend Wali Shabbat attempts to represent the top line to his Christian audience. Keep this in mind, keep the image in mind rather, and let's see whether our friend Wali Shabbat represents it accurately these, or not. What thought these symbols? This and this in a very kind of circular way, you know. And then you had this symbol. All right? Now this is an Arabic word. You can film it and ask an Arab, what is that word? Bism, in the name of. And this word, you can ask any Arab what that word is. Bism Allah, in the name of Allah, was on that badge that people put in their foreheads as John documented what he saw on the godly video. God showed him. And that will be the symbol of Islam, which is the two swords. That is a symbol in Saudi Arabia. It's a symbol of Islam. From now, I'm not sure what he means by the cross swords being a symbol of Islam. I've checked the Saudi Arabian flag. You can see it on the screen. The Arabic text is the creed of Islam. Obviously, that's not the crossed swords. However, I like to be fair and honest. So I will tell you there is an emblem of Saudi Arabia, and this is the emblem. You can see a pair of swords, but you can see a palm tree too. So our friend Wali Shabbat is a palm tree short of a beach. He needs to draw in a palm tree if he is going to be accurate, or at least tell us what he's referring to when he speaks about cross swords representing Islam and Saudi Arabia, because I have no idea what he is speaking about. As for the rest of his drawing, compare for yourself. You have eyes. Does it look like the mark of the beast that our friend Wali Shabbat is presenting? Or is our friend Wali Shabbat stretching the truth and pretty much deceiving his Christian audience? And they began to evolve into, let's see, what do these symbols really mean? Why would there be three Greek symbols into the text? Why would God put three Greek symbols as a mystery? Well, God is not an author of mysteries, by the way. His yoke is easy. Shabbat is stretching Christian theology here. Mystery is a word that occurs 28 times in the New Testament. Furthermore, theologians that's Christian theologians, they pass the Trinity off as what? A mystery. So Christians 
do believe in mysteries. But our friend Wali Shabbat wanted to, to do away with the idea of mysteries in order to clear the way for his wacky conspiracy theory so people would consider it a little bit more plausible. Now, another bout of refutation comes into play because the horizontal line above the three characters indicates the scribes recognized the three letters not to be a word, but to refer to a number. The Bible reference mentions the word number with relation to the mark of the beast three times. Thus, Christians are expecting a number, not a symbol. Our friend Wali Shabbat presents a symbol of crossed swords and two Arabic words in a Greek text. Is he for real? Our wacky friend Wali Shabbat is well and truly refuted. Now, some Muslims may be laughing and thinking, how can Christians pay people like Wali Shabbat any heed at all, never mind cash? But I feel some concern for these Christians because there are a number of charlatans within Christianity who are using the fear of Muslims and misunderstanding related to Islam in order to generate cash, milk Christians for cash. That's what they are doing. The sooner lay Christians realize this, the better.